What's up guys, Craig Mack here, Liberty Bell Beekeepers, back again. So today, got a beautiful day here in the Philly, sunshine, a little bit of clouds, just the beauty of a day, right around 70 degrees or so. A few weeks ago, I picked up a swarm from the Fairmount section of Philadelphia from a very nice woman who uh, watched her bees swarm, basically, and couldn't keep any more bees where she's at, and followed them around for a couple of days. Uh, asking people if they wanted them. Finally, I was able to get down there and take them, and I'm glad I did. Big swarm, about six pounds of bees. Um, so I decided at that point, since I was, had a Philadelphia-inspired hive, that I would add that swarm to it. And today I'm just doing a run through, since I haven't been through this colony yet. I know it's got a lot of bees. Um, and let's take a look. It's all salvage material. I did go through this once and it didn't record, so I'm just going to do another quick run through. This is a combination I think of like a lion's hive and also kind of a log hive. It's got double deep frames. That was supported with 3 8 dowels. I waxed the dowels. The top portion has a foundation, medium foundation. I just wanted to try to inspire them to build these frames out straight so that I wasn't dealing with a mess every time I went into it. As you can see, they started building the second tier already. They have all the frames drawn out, all the foundation has been drawn out, and there's three or four frames that have started to add a second, a second layer. As it is, this is probably three or four pounds. Um, and they're, they're, just, they're just doing really, really well. I'm going to have to get some kind of frame rest for these because they're they're going to get heavy. I'm sure once these get filled with bees and brood and honey, there's, it's going to get heavy. Another beauty of a frame. I'm not going to go through all of these. But as you can see, they're starting to twist a little bit down here. But it's not out of, out of the realm of Ordinary, maybe I'll just press it in, see if they uh, accept that. I'm hoping that they connect it to the other frames, to the other supports, and, and keep it straight. So far, so good. But uh, we'll see. If it comes down to it, I'll just end up having to cut comb out of it to keep it straight, and hopefully they rebuild it straight the next time. All this wax has been laid up. She's got eggs in most of it. A lot of this is drone comb down here. These are very, very gentle. They're not really bothered with me being in here. I was a little concerned because it's such a big colony and uh, it's got a lot of bees and it's very, it's locked up pretty tight. This, this box is limited on its entrances. Here's another frame drawn out. Not all the way into the second bay yet. A lot of propolis though, a lot of propolis. A lot of resources in these frames. Nice job with them. And I believe my queen was on this frame. She was marked at one point. She's a beautiful, caramely, chocolatey looking queen. She's doing a fantastic job of getting this colony built. She's got a lot of eggs in her. She was on this frame, but they don't stay in one place for very long. And now she needs space. She wants space to lay. This is part of the beekeeping world. And I say, have fun with your bees, have fun with your bees. This is uh, just fun for me, building these custom boxes, seeing what they can do, seeing how the bees respond. And just making some, making some beautiful new colonies of bees. As 
I said, I meant to treat these like a log hive, where I don't go in it very often. It has to be inspected as per our regulations here in Pennsylvania. Um, I expect it really respect for disease. Just try not to squish the bees. This kind of, these frames kind of fit like a top bar. They're tight. There's no, there's no, um, there is no entry. There's no access to above these frames. When they fit in here, they fit pretty tightly. And they uh, don't allow any space for the bees to migrate above the, uh, Migrate above the frames. So it's a little tricky getting it back in there, but it goes down nice and smooth. There's a slight bit of space above there for the bees to get on, but not much. Let's get the smoke, get those, clean those bees out of there, put the lid back on, button her up. As always, I hope you enjoy watching. I just love this box, love how it works, love the look of it, love everything about it. This uh, colony of bees seems to be doing really well with it, and I can't say I'm not anything but thrilled. Check us out on social media, keep an eye out here on YouTube. As always, have fun with your bees, and I'll catch you later.